Hi guys. So today's video, I am just simply doing a get ready with me. I haven't done one of these in a while. So I'm going to save you the rant as to why I haven't, but I'm finally feeling like it. So I'm going to film. Probably TMI, but I have a mole right here. It's the only mole in my body that grows a tiny little hair. <laughs> And I have to pluck it occasionally. Whatever though. So today I am just priming with the Dr. Brandt Backlight Primer. This came in my boxy charm box. I love it. It gives me like a very smooth finish. And then I will simply be taking the L Power Grip Primer and putting that over it. This one is more like sticky and helps like the foundations and stuff to stick obviously. So I'm going to be doing that as well. I really don't have anywhere special I'm going. Brian and I are just going out to dinner. It's Friday night and he said he'd get off work a little early and it's three o'clock exactly now. So I'm like, hmm, he never told me exactly when. So I'm just going to get ready and hope I'm on time. And yeah, so I can film this. Also, I'm using my old vlog camera, like my very first. And I don't know why I ever got a new one. Like this worked great. So I usually go in with this uh, Makeup by Mario. I believe it's a contour stick. This is in medium. And I usually just take the brush like directly on it, but I want very dark contour today. So I'm going for it. So putting it everywhere I typically would contour. Like this product is the easiest thing to blend out. Like it is so simple, so nice and creamy. I think last summer, we were getting ready at my house, my friends and I, and Paige had this one and I'm like, what is that? Cause I just saw her like blending and then it just disappeared. I'm like, I need that. And they were always out of it. There's now like Sephora in Kohl's. So I don't have to go to the Mall of America to get my stuff. So I've been going to the Kohl's one and they finally had it. No, that's a lie. I think I ordered this one online cause they didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely like the look of putting it on first and not just using my brush to get it on. I feel like it's much darker. I go back and forth with which blush I want to use. This one is very summery. This is the Rare Beauty one in Joy. And then this one is from Tarte. This is Pink Sky. It's very pretty. I'm gonna try the Rare Beauty one. And again, I've been making the mistake of just putting my blush right here. I want a lifted look, but then I have this concealer that's like crazy light just right here. And then it just looks so high contrast. I've just been like failing at my makeup recently. I do love to put it on my nose though. I find that's so cute. Maybe I'll mix it a little bit here. Like this one is just so pretty, is it not? Is it not? I feel like the camera can never actually like pick it up, but yes. Okay, I need to do my blush like right there instead. Maybe it's just my face shape. Like I think I have a pretty circular face. So maybe that's why it just doesn't really work out for me. And I'm kind of dragging that blush underneath my eyes a little bit too. Again, I don't have any foundation on yet, but yeah, this is cute. Might as well just double it up here. It like, if you put it on the nose, it gives it such a sunburnt look and I am 100% here for it. I love that look. So I'm going to use this, the lid is off, I hope it doesn't fall out. This L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This is the shade 208. I've been using 207 for a while now, but I feel like it's just a little bit too light. And this one might be like perfect. I have been tanning a little bit here and there because I know it's terrible for you, but like at this point you can't relate if you don't live in Minnesota. Like it's just so, oh, the weather is just so sad here. We get like, how many months is it of winter? I'll say November is pretty much winter because it can be freezing in november november december january february march april we get like I'm, I'm not gonna count april but we get like five months of winter here i'd say four months like i'm being generous four months of summer june through i'd say september typically but oh my gosh like i just look drained all the time because i am a very pale person and i really don't even i guess care too much about the color of my skin it's literally the fact that i'm just getting to go somewhere with bright warm lights i feel like i'm sitting out in the sun and i'm not being depressed like that's what it is for me and like i said i'm using this as a concealer too like so i'm just going for a pretty light look um nothing too crazy and that's what i get with this foundation it's a miracle worker you guys 100 percent suggest it and I feel like this foundation, like, I mean, obviously it covers up kind of what I just used, but it's still there. Like, it's not like a super crazy foundation. It is absolutely perfect 
for summer. Like you can still see my freckles through it. I don't have like very acne prone skin. So if you do, maybe obviously you want to use something different, but for me and my dry to combo skin, amazing. I'm just gonna touch it up a little bit here before I go ahead and bake. And I'm gonna stop my tanning also because I've been getting crazy dry patches all around my body. If you can see here, like my body is like healing from them. I have like a slight form of eczema, I think. So the tanning bed has not helped that at all. And it's just been like sucking the moisture from my skin. The back of my legs go crazy, but probably time for me to quit then. Next up, going in with my trusty, trusty airspun powder. That's how I get more of like lighter look on like my under eyes and my T-zone. I'm not using a lighter concealer or foundation. I'm just baking with a translucent or light powder. Even though it says translucent, it definitely lightens it up a little bit. Like, let's be real here, but I don't mind it because that's what I'm going for. And I love this stuff, especially in the summer. I will bake like crazy. Like, you will not catch me not pounding on the powder because I get like a sweaty little slob in the summer. I get feral. I'm kidding, but... Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And I'll just let this all sit and bake while I go in with my bronzer and blush. And I personally think it blends better. Probably not, but <laughs> who cares? I feel like I am doing a routine that I would do in like high school, like all these old throwback products. You guys already know. Physician's formula, butter, bronzer. <laughs> Oh my god, it just smells so insane. Like I could just eat it. Like it's oh, so good. And I'm gonna follow that like line that I use for my blush as well. So it's going on my cheeks and on top of my nose and on the side. Making sure to put it on my neck as well because my neck does not get tan. So I have a tan face, tan chest, and my neck is pale. And so it just looks disgusting. And this stuff is so pigmented, I think. Like maybe it's just the brush. I feel like if you have like a really coarse brush, also like this one, it picks up so much much stuff because I feel like it just like breaks the product apart very quickly. Oh my god, yeah. And I forgot, I'll use my Dior blush. I haven't been using that in a while, but I recently got that because of course I'm a follower and I've just heard so many good things about it. It's like, it's cute, but like it's not insane. Again though, like maybe it's just not my winter color because I am so pale, but... Whatever. I also cannot wait until I redo my basement bedroom. It's gonna be a guest bedroom, but it's also gonna be like my office and my closet's gonna be down there, like all of my stuff. And I cannot wait because I have so many products I just continue to find. I'm like, oh, this is a cute blush. Like I had no idea I even had it, which is such a bummer. I feel like if I did, I would be using so many different products. So I just cannot wait to like organize all my stuff essentially. And of course I can't find my Dior blush. Here it is, okay. So I'm gonna add this one, like look at that. It's like a bright highlighter pink, but honestly, I don't think it really like shows up like that. Now again, I'm trying not to put it up here. I am focusing on my cheek. And I'll drag it up a little bit, obviously, to blend, but I feel like I have giant <laughs> cheeks. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take a random brush and wipe off the leftover bait. And just kind of, I guess, blend everything in as well. Make sure it's all cohesive. Okay, for my eyes, I always like to keep it very simple and just do essentially like a bronzer or contour moment. I like to match that with my face. Um, and this, I am not kidding you, Natasha Denona. This is the Ayana palette, Ayana. And this is the color Harlow, that one. And oh my gosh. So obviously I have much lighter skin. So I'm not sure if it would, I'm not, I am sure. I don't think it would probably work on all skin tones, but this one for me is like the perfect. It looks very light in the pan, but it deepens the crease and above just so effortlessly and like perfectly like i just love it and secret here i use it kind of as a nose contour like it's just that perfect cool tone oh amazing and obviously like you can layer it or you can keep it pretty light look at that i don't even know if the camera's picking it up but <laughs> i think it is just so perfect so stunning who is that tiktoker that says that i watch all of her get ready with me is stunning that's what she says. Like, look at that. Yes, okay. And I don't typically like uh, fill in my brows and I really haven't. Do I want to? Mm -hmm. Maybe I will a little bit. So again, like I said, I usually don't fill in my brows, but I guess I'm kind of feeling it today. I have been because I've been plucking them so thin, but I love thin brows. So I don't know why that's a bad thing. It's not. But I guess like, I just think everybody wants the trend of like a thick, bushy brow. And I think it looks absolutely disgusting on my face. Like that is the word. Disgusting. Like it, ooh, this lighting. Okay. It like makes my face super droopy and just everything look very heavy on my face. And I hate that. So I don't really do that. I like to keep it very thin. And for me, 
me, when I have thin brows, I think I look very lifted, which is what I obviously prefer. So I keep it very simple as well when I fold in. Like that was honestly nothing, but I like it. Um, I use the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This one is great. And then again, when in doubt, just use an e.l.f. product because they're amazing and super inexpensive. I don't know if I even have any of this gel left. I have another one sitting somewhere, but I love the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. Clear Brow Gel is the way to go. I hate colored brow gel, but next up, I just curled my, I was gonna say curled my brow, curled my lashes, and I'm going in with this Tarte Mascara. It's like this very bougie one. I can read it to you. Lights, camera, lashes. I don't know. Again, I got it in my Boxy Charm box. Like I would never buy this stuff if I didn't have that subscription. So <laughs> that's great. Okay, so now that I have my mascara on, like I said, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm going in with this NYX liner in whipped caviar and it's oh never mind it's gonna say oh it's pretty close to my natural but it's pretty pink so i'm just gonna line them whatever i also got a lip flip if you can't tell and i had filler before so i got a lip flip and i've gotten a lip flip before Ugh. it's a tongue twister but it has never affected me like it did this time maybe it's just because this was like my second time she put the same amount in but so maybe my lips were like just bigger to begin with but for a while well i still can't really whistle <sighs> my top lip cannot relax anymore and now it's like when i brush my teeth and spit my toothpaste out i'm like <laughs> like i can't do that either and i'm like okay and it doesn't look as good as i thought it would i don't know i was like oh i just probably won't get filler anymore like i'll just stick with like a lip flip because i like that look better but not this time so anyway i'm gonna go in with the charlotte tilbury pillow talk like it's kind of like a gloss lipstick mixture combo here it's very pretty and i'm just gonna dab it on because it can get kind of sticky if you use a lot of it it gives you a very pretty sheen though like look at this never mind it won't work but yeah okay now i need to fix my hair okay never mind i got it to work i just had to turn my camera off but this is the kind of sheen it gives you like this is more natural lighting the one before was like kind of cool tone but this is actually what it looks like and again for my lip flip i can't like rub my lips together i have to like do it all weird like like that imagine seeing me in a bar just like that so for my hair i'm gonna use just a heat protectant and then I have like nothing left in this one, but I also used this Olaplex bonding oil after I got out of the shower. So that also works as a heat protectant apparently. And then I'm taking this shark, like this comb extension, and I'm just going to like flatten my hair and essentially just blow dry it. I already kind of like it. It's starting to dry pretty straight because I'm starting to brush it a lot, like as it's still pretty damp. That's why if I know I'm going to style it, but like in the summer, I'm just thinking about summer so much. Anyway, shut up. Next up, I'm using the most amazing invention ever. It's very similar to the like blow dryer version, but this is simply a hot iron. Oh, it's amazing. And it heats up super quickly. So again, like you can essentially just brush through your hair. I dried it all. I'm gonna stay away from the roots because my roots might still be just a little bit wet here. And then watch this. So just like that last one, it's ready, it's heated. It's good to go. And like right now the trend is like kind of 90s blowout, like just super waved ends. Look at how simple that was. It's like pisses me off that I didn't get it sooner. <laughs> Where did I find this anyway? Um, I think I might've saw like a very tiny TikTok, very tiny. I mean like just a random TikTok, like somebody, not like a crazy big creator just did this. And then I'm like, holy shit. Like, look at that. And that's it. Like, I'm, this is like my third section. Obviously, you can do like much smaller sections, but it works. I have pretty thick hair. Like, obviously not the thickest, but okay, hold on, hold on. Now we're failing here. I guess it just kind of works a little bit better if you just wrap it to begin with and then like comb it through and then do a little, mm, do a little twisty. It does get pretty hot and it, like I said, it heats up in like 15 seconds. What on earth? Like, oh, just love it. Okay, that actually, I held that on way too much. Surprised my hair isn't dried up. Like, look at that. Super simple, but it just gives it like... Yes, babe. I feel like I've found like the eighth wonder of the world or something. Okay, I'm just being really dramatic, but I love this thing. Easy peasy. 
And then even if you don't have like fully straight hair, you can literally just comb it through and it'll essentially like give you a kind of like a loose straight, you know what I'm saying? Like not like a pin straight that you'd get with a straightener, but simple. Look at this. This video is literally three minutes long right now. Like that's it. The simplest thing ever. And I timed this perfectly. Brian just texted me. He's on his way home. So he's essentially going to be home in 10 minutes. And look at that. Super simple. I'm just going to grab the bangs here. Twist them up like you would if like you're setting them in a curler. That's actually how I would do them. But a lot of people do them back. I mean, either way, whatever works. There we go. Mm, good enough. Yes. Wow. I'm keeping it extra simple today. I'm literally just wearing these jeans are from Fashion Nova. They're like a V right here. They're super cute. I love them. They are so flattering, so stretchy. And then this top, this tank top is from Express. Um, it has like a built-in bra. That's why I really like it. Little support because it has such thin straps. And then, like I said, I'm keeping it pretty simple. I'm probably just going to wear, I see a green little sweatshirt over there that I just got out of the wash. So yeah, I love wearing white. I never really wear white, but such a nice color to wear. And again, this is the finished makeup. So stinking cute.